Hello, welcome. My name is David Lurie, and this is series number one of the Hips and Lower Back program that uh, my partner and I, Miriam Wagner, and I will be teaching with you all, which consists of this balance practice of yang and yin practices. So this first session of the series is going to focus on the fronts of the thighs and the backs of the thighs in quite a, a basic function that happens in most yoga classes, the Surya Namaskar, sun salutation. We'll be working with the more classical style of a sun salutation that works on the forward and backward linear plane to really focus on the flexion and extension of the legs, as well as bringing space into the lower back. I'll be guiding through the whole series and invite you to uh, follow along in addition to the movements, but also the energetic pieces of Surya Namaskar, the sun salutation. We are awakening up the internal sun, the lightness within, which is what we're working on when we pay attention to the hips and pelvis. This whole series uh, will focus on mobilization and space. So find your way, please, to the front of your sticky mat and join your feet all the way together if that feels appropriate for your body. Some of you might not want to have your feet all the way together, in which case, separate your feet a little bit apart. Fold the palms together and bring the thumbs to rest just at the base of your chest. And once your thumbs are folded there at the base of your chest, take a moment and close your eyes. Because all of the healing in any yogic practices must come from a deep connection to yourself. So although we'll be focusing on many of the physical qualities of this practice, ultimately, we want to use these practices to know ourselves a little better. And as we practice saluting the external sun, that we revolve around on this planet Earth, we can also salute the internal sun. So take three breaths to yourself. On this third exhale, Open your eyes and look down towards your hands. We'll be working on the forward and backward plane. So on the next inhale, reach the arms up and together. Take a gentle back bend. As you exhale, keep your hands together. Fold all the way forward. Bend your knees just a little bit and release your hands. Next inhale, look forward and reach the chest over your toes. Exhaling, step your right leg way back. Place the right knee to the floor and then point your toes. Onto your fingertips, when you inhale, look up between your eyebrows. Place your hands flat and on the exhale, step with your left foot back to a plank position. If you have any lower back pain, separate your feet. If it's okay, keep the feet together here. Inhale. And now the knees, chest, and chin. Exhale, put your knees to the floor. Bend your elbows and bring the chest and the chin just between your thumbs so there's a big curve in the lower back. Part of this series is to release tension in the lower back. So have another breath here. And then like a snake, slide forward onto your spine and without using your hands, lift your chest as high as you can off the floor. And then exhale, lower down. Now, using your hands, come into a higher cobra that feels right for your body right now. As you exhale, tuck your toes to the floor and reach the hips up and back in downward facing dog. But then, right away, inhaling, look to your hands. Exhaling with the right foot, step all the way forward, place your left knee down and point the toes. Come onto your fingertips. Now, as you inhale, look up between your eyebrows. And when you exhale, step the left foot all the way forward and fold over your legs. Bring the hands together, and as you inhale, watch your thumbs as you rise up into the sky. And on the exhale, bring all of this attention down and home into your heart center. That's the first half of the first cycle. The second half, on the inhalation, follow your thumbs rising up into a little back bend. On the exhale, follow your thumbs with your eyes and fold all the way down, release your hands. Next inhale, look up between your eyebrows, and this time you'll step the left leg way back. Place the left knee to the floor and point your toes. Again, just to your fingertips. On the inhale, lift the lower part of your belly and look up. 
And on the exhale, step back with your right foot to a plank position and hold here for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in. And once again, we're going to go knees, chest, and chin. So put your knees to the floor, bend the elbows, and big, build this nice lumbar curve into the lower part of your back. Have another breath here and squeeze the kidney region at the bottom of your ribs. And then snake forward with your spine without your hands. Lift your chest as much off the floor as you can, exhaling down. And then use your hands pressed to even higher cobra that feels right for your body. On the next exhale, tuck the toes, reach the hips up and back, but we don't stay. As you inhale, right away, look forward. And on the exhale, now with your left foot, step all the way between your hands, place your right knee down. Onto your fingertips. The inhale, lift the lower belly, look up between your eyebrows. And on the exhale, step the right foot to the front and fold over your legs. Bring the hands together. And with opened eyes, inhale, rise up into the sky. And on the exhale, bring all of this attention and your thumbs down in front of your own heart center. Okay. The second cycle, we're going to add a new variation. As you inhale, reach the arms up, take a gentle back bend. On the exhale, fold all the way forward. And this time, reach behind you and hook your thumbs together. Take the arms over your head with the thumbs hooked. Release the hands. On the next inhale, lengthen your chest forward, and with your right leg, step way back, place the right knee to the floor, point the toes, then join your hands together, and as you inhale, rise up, but lift the lower part of your belly and reach your chest to the sky. On the exhale, take the hands down and step back with your left foot into plank position. Take a deep breath in here at plank, and a little different, place your knees to the floor, and this time, bend into a half push-up. So bend your elbows until your shoulders are the height of your elbows here. On the next inhale, come to a version of cobra that feels right for your body. And on the exhale, reach the hips up and back into the sky. Right away on the next inhale, look forward. And when you exhale, step forward with the right foot between your hands. Place the left knee down. Point your toes. Join the hands together and on the in-breath, reach up into the sky. On the exhale, release the hands and step the left foot all the way to the front of your mat. Once again, bring the hands together and inhaling, follow with your eyes as you rise up towards the sky and follow with your eyes as you exhale, bring the hands down into your heart center. Now for the second side, on the inhale, rise up and follow the thumbs. On your exhale, fold all the way forward, reach behind you and hook the opposite thumb in front. So either the left or the right and have a breath here. With the next exhale, release the hands towards the earth. Inhaling, lengthen your chest over your toes. And now step your left leg way back. Place the left knee to the floor and point your toes. With the hands together, inhaling, rise all the way up. Lift the lower belly up into your body. And on the exhale, release the hands and step back to plank position. Take an inhale at plank. And again, place the knees to the floor. When you bend your elbows, move your shoulders out in front of your fingers and stop when the elbows are at your ribs. Another inhale to a version of Cobra that fits your body right now. And on the exhale, tuck your toes, reach the hips up and back into the sky. On the next in-breath, look forward. Exhaling, big step with your left foot all the way to your hands. Place the right knee down. As you inhale, reach up with your arms and lift the lower part of your belly, but sink forward with your hips. And as you exhale, release the hands and step all the way to the front. Join the feet together if that feels right for your body. Bring the hands together. And on the in-breath, rise up to a gentle back bend. And on the exhale, bring this energy and your attention connected to your own heart center. One more variation. On the inhale, rise up, take a little back bend. On the exhale, fold all the way forward. This time, reach behind you and interlock the fingers all the way. Take the arms over your head. Have a breath here. Release your hands. On the in-breath, lengthen your chest. And on the exhale, step the right leg way towards the back of the mat. Place the right knee down. Inhaling, reach your arms up into the sky. Now we're going to stay in this position, but on the exhale, take the hands back and behind you and clasp the fingers. 
This way with the next inhale, squeeze the shoulders to open your chest. And on the exhale, release the hands, step back with your left foot into plank position. Take a deep inhalation here. On the exhale, bend your elbows into Chaturanga push-up. Stop when your elbows reach the height of your ribs. And then come forward to an upward-facing dog. Point your toes and lift the chest. And on your exhale, reach the hips up into the sky, down-facing dog. Next in-breath, look forward to your hands. And on the out-breath, step the right foot all the way through. Place your left knee to the floor. Next inhale, reach up with the arms. Take a gentle crescent lunge. Now with the exhale, keep the body like it is, but move the hands behind you and clasp the fingers. On the next inhale, sink your hips, but lift your chest to the sky. As you exhale, release your hands and step the left foot forward to the front. Bring the hands together and follow your thumbs with opened eyes. Rise up towards the sky. And as you exhale, bring this attention home into your heart center. Okay, the last variation here. Inhaling, reach the arms up, a little back bend. Exhaling, fold all the way forward. Reach behind you and interlock the fingers all the way. You're welcome to have your knees a little bent here. Then release your hands. On the inhale, lengthen the chest. And now step your left leg way back. Place the left knee to the floor. Point the knees or point the toes. Bring the hands together. And as you inhale, take the crescent lunge. And with the exhale, reach the hands behind you and clasp the fingers. Next inhale, keep sinking the hips. Lift and open the chest. And with the exhale, release the hands. Step back to plank position. Another inhale here. And now for the Chaturanga Dandasana, bend at the elbows and come forward with your shoulders. Stop where the elbows touch your ribs. And then move to upward facing dog. Point the toes and lift the chest. Exhaling the hips up and back into the sky. Next inhale, look forward between the hands. Exhaling, step the left foot all the way through to your hands. Place the right knee down and point your toes. As you inhale, rise up with the arms and the chest. And then with the exhale, just take the hands behind you and clasp the fingers. Inhaling, sink forward with your hips. Exhaling, release the hands and step all the way forward once again to the front of your mat. Bring the hands together and follow your thumbs. Rise up into the sky. And on the next exhale, bring all of this attention home and down in front of your heart center. I'm going to guide through the last cycle a little bit quicker. So that variation that includes the uh, squeezing the hands behind the back. So just follow through with all of your attention focused on the mid part of your body, exhaling fully. Inhaling, arms up and back, a little back bend. Exhaling, fold forward, reach the hands behind you, clasp the fingers. Release the hands, inhale, look forward. Exhaling, step the right leg back, place the right knee down, point your toes. Inhaling, rise up with the arms and the chest. Exhaling, reach behind you, clasp the fingers. Inhaling, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhaling, release the hands. Step back, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhaling, bend at the elbows, chaturanga. Stop with the elbows at the ribs. Inhaling, come forward, upward facing dog. Exhaling, reach the hips up and back. Next inhale, look to the hands. Exhale, step to the hands with the right foot. Place the left knee down. Inhaling, reach the arms up high to crescent. Exhaling, reach the hands behind you and interlock the fingers. Inhaling, squeeze the shoulder blades behind your back. Exhaling, release the hands. Step forward, fold over your legs. Bring the hands together. Inhaling, rise all the way up a little back bend. Exhaling, bring the hands and your attention to your heart center. Last one. Inhaling the arms up. Push the heels to the floor. Exhaling. Fold forward. Reach behind you. Interlock the fingers. Then release your hands. Inhaling. Reach the chest over your toes. Exhaling. Left leg way back. Place the left knee down. Point your toes. On the inhale. Rise up to crescent. 
Exhaling, reach the hands behind your back and interlock the fingers. Inhaling, lift the lower part of your belly. Exhaling, release the hands. Step back, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhaling, bend at the elbows, chaturanga. Come forward into your forward plank position. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Lift the chest. Exhaling, reach the hips up and back. Right away, inhaling, look to the hands. Exhaling, step the left foot to the hands. Place the right knee down. On the in-breath, rise up with the lower belly in the center of your chest. Exhaling, reach the hands behind you. Clasp the fingers. Inhaling, lift the chest to the sky. Exhaling, release the hands. Step all the way forward over your legs. Bring the hands together. As you inhale, rise all the way up a little back bend. And exhale, bring all of this attention home into your heart center. Separate the feet about as wide as your sitting bones. Release your hands. And close your eyes for a moment. As we are saluting and honoring the external sun, also pay attention to the internal sun, the lightness of being. This series is to focus on the hips and the lower back region of your body. This whole 10 series program. So this first session here, awakening that sense of lightness in your hips and in your pelvis. Pay attention to how you feel. So from this place of awakening the fronts and the backs of your legs and the lower back, I wish you a beautiful rest of the journey. I'll see you in the other session soon. Thank you.